Yo, what is up guys, it's Phantom here today with some Persona 3 news? Now, if you guys know me or had a conversation with me at all, or you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you know that I rave about Persona 3, because it's one of my personal favorite Persona games. And there's been rumors, I think there's even been rumors earlier in the year, shit, back in 2022, well, 2020 and 2021, when the Persona games were getting released to different, um, you know, consoles and stuff, that a Persona 3 remake was in the works. And I know this is a rumor, it probably is not true, nothing could be true, but if it turns out to be true, I'll be extremely happy. Uh, Persona 3, it's not a dated game, but it's definitely not, you know, how do I put it, up to date. Like, it's definitely a very older game when it comes to the uh, franchise, because it was when they were still trying stuff new with it. Because coming out Persona 1 and 2, which were like, first person grid based games, or Persona 2, which was like, more of a... Like, it, it didn't have the same aspect, like, it didn't have the social links, it didn't have the same gameplay, you weren't able to switch between characters like that, but Persona 3 changed all that, and that was the one that brought in social links, that brought in the 3D environment, and it was, like, one of the first PS2 games for Persona, and it did a lot of new things. So, yeah, the game's kind of old compared to Persona 4 and Persona 5, of course, because those are newer and more fleshed out experiences. So, yeah, a remake could definitely be in the works and could be actually very, um, how do I put it, beneficial and let people play the game in a newer light. Now, of course, you could play the game on PS3, you could buy it, I think, on the PlayStation Store. I think the PlayStation Store is still active on PS3. I could not tell you. I haven't played my PS3 in a while, and it's like right next to me. My PS3 and my PS5 are in the same thing. But here, let's um actually read the article from GameRant.com. This is the only place I can find it, guys. Um, a leaker that previously revealed Atlas is working on a remake of Persona 3 confirms the game game development of what the next for Persona franchise has been a mystery since. The release of Persona 5 Royal as Atlas has lingered on the RPG, bringing it to the PS, PC, PS5, Nintendo Switch, and the Xbox consoles in 2022. With, the, with that behind it, Atlas seems primed to move on to the next major Persona release. It might not be Persona 6 at all, but another opportunity for Persona 3. Now, if you've been a part of the Persona community, you know it takes forever for it to get a next Persona game. It took a couple of years before we got anything with Persona 5, and I highly doubt that we'll get anything in the near future for Persona 6. If we do, you can call my bluff on that. I'm not going to sit there and um argue with you. It's just like Persona games usually, when they come out, they come out at the end of a console's lifespan and into the next generation. Henceforth, Persona 3, not Persona 3, Persona 5 came out at the end of the PS3's lifespan and was released on the PS3, the PS4, and now even now the PS5 with Persona 5 Royal. So that's just telling you, yeah, Persona 4 Golden and Persona 4, 4 like were very close to release date. Like they were close to each other. Then again, Persona 4 was like pretty much their money maker for a very long time. But yeah, the release of Persona 3 had the started that what many could say is the origin of the Persona franchise. C current momentums, while the original Persona 3 released on P PlayStation 2 and performed poorly next to in the first second Persona game, its remake Persona 3 Fed and Persona 3 Portable both elevated the release significantly. Those Persona, those releases helped build a larger Western audience, which has led to the franchise growth for Persona 4, Persona 5, and many additional spin-off releases. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of spin-off releases. That's where we got Persona 4 Dancing All Night, and then we got the dancing version for Persona 3 and Persona 5, and these were ways for the co company to kind of, you know, test the water to see. So yeah, Persona 3 Remake, maybe, and that means you get Persona 4 Golden, and all of that would be, um, like a Persona 4 Remake, but I'm wondering how they would do it. Well, like, because even though the gameplay, gameplay... Persona 3 is hard on purpose, so they'd have to like tone it down. Alex confirmed early New Year's Day morning that it has significant plans for 2023. These plans will, with the previously announced port of Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden, remastered modern platforms. However, Atlas confirmed that several unreleased new titles are being prepared, though so many 
No specific names or clues were provided. This size prompted. This has since prompted a large conversation with the Persona fandom. Guys, excuse me. It's been a while since I've sat here and just read, like, you know, an article. I'm sorry. It's been a while. On real eras, fans have been speculating what Persona's announcements could be could be forthcoming for Atlas in 2023. One user brought up a long-standing rumor regarding the Persona 3 remake questioning if it was still happening with Atlas now. We released Persona 3 Portable. This prompted a response from the insider. I'm not gonna fucking read that. That is a hefty name who previously leaked the news of Persona 3 coming to Xbox Game Pass in 2022. According to, and again, not reading this man's name, I will link the article in the description so you can read the name. It's a very difficult name. The Persona 3 remake is real still. But um that's pretty much all the information we know. Um again, it would I could not say I can see um Atlas doing this. It's a way for them to sort of capitalize on a game that they haven't really been capitalizing on. Cause Persona 3 I think only has three like major releases. It's Persona 1, I mean, Persona 3 is the vanilla version, Persona 3 Fez, and Persona 3 the dancing remake. Of course, Persona 3 characters appeared in Persona 4 um, Arena, and then, of course, Persona Q, which was um, sort of a celebration of Persona 4 and Persona 5. And then, uh, not Persona 5, Persona 4, 3, and Persona 3 and 4, and then the sequel added 5 to it. Um, yeah, they don't really capitalize on Persona Three that much, or Persona Two and One, but also those games need a remake. Jesus Christ, those games need to be fixed. Like, oof, because Persona One and Two, while they don't have the best of stories, you can easily retell the stories a lot better. But hey, that's all I really got for the Persona Three remake. Um, if you guys have any like questions about it, go down in the comments down below. Tell me your favorite Persona games. So leave a comment down below, like the video, share it out. And I will see you guys in the next Persona video. Let your heart be your guiding key. And yeah, peace out.